Right here is where all my plans for 2020 started to fall apart. At the beginning of the year, I was living at a friend's place, not too far from where I am right now. I was renting a room there and some things changed and I had to leave kind of last minute. I went round and round about what I was gonna do and ended up back at my dad's place. I haven't lived at my dad's place in a very long time and being almost 40, it's kind of demoralizing to move back into your parents' place. But I wasn't super upset about it because it was only supposed to be for like a month or two. I already had plans of moving to Colorado around April, May. <laughs> you remember those days where you just like make a plan and then like go do it because you knew it was coming next? Well, obviously March, that all got completely smashed. At the time of my dad's place, it was supposed to be, you know, four to eight weeks turned into, I don't know when you're gonna get out of there and complete your move. See, my master plan for Colorado was that I was just going to kind of get in my truck and go. I'd spent five years planning the move. I had a bunch of money saved up for it. I was basically just going to find spots, stay in the truck, and figure out what I wanted to do while I was building my training business. I didn't really have any like responsibilities. I paid off all my debt, so I thought it'd be kind of a fun adventure. Problem is, with the whole everything going on, it wasn't really possible. Colorado was on complete lockdown. You weren't allowed to be more than 15 miles from your house. And living in your truck, I wouldn't really have one of those. And I really didn't at the time want to get a place. I didn't see the point in putting down roots. So at that point, I kind of just put everything on hold and really focused on bartending at the brewery, which was also kind of a disaster because of all the new regulations we had to comply with. I ended up working a ton of hours over there really neglecting my movement practice, which now I'm trying to backpedal. I have a lot of aches and pains from 12, 14 hour days there. And standing on my feet that much really did a number when I wasn't doing things that I should have done to be undoing the damage. Anyway, story for a different video. So now everything I own pretty much is in storage. I have a little bit of stuff here and I'm kind of figuring out what I'm gonna keep and what I'm not gonna keep. And because it was supposed to be such a short term, I haven't lived at my dad's in a long time, it's kind of just like a guest room that I'm sort of crashing at. So there's not a lot of room for my stuff. So I've mostly been living out of a backpack here for the past couple, three months, going to my storage unit, getting stuff as I needed it, or putting stuff there that it turns out I didn't really need. As you can see, the room around me is a bit of a disaster. And there are a few reasons for that. A few months ago, I started seeing someone and as you can see from the picture, clearly, I'm the stable one. Anywho, so I, uh, about four weeks ago, moved in with her, and the move to Colorado is back on. She had already wanted to move to Colorado. Obviously, I was supposed to have already moved Colorado, so we basically said, F*** it, let's do it. And we're in the middle of planning that right now. So before we continue, let's take a brief pause. I feel like changing locations. I'd like to share with you what I've managed to pare down my possessions to over the past five years. So let's change it up. So, here we go. There's almost everything I own right here. It's been a long road getting away from owning tons of crap just because, well, because I could or because I wanted it, to really paring down to things that I really used and needed and things that I really wanted. There is actually a lot of stuff in here that I'll probably be, get ready, uh, be getting rid of just because when I had to move out of my last place, it was super spur of the moment and basically I just took everything I had and just shoved it in here. And now that I'm moving to Colorado, I'm gonna be paring down and getting through a lot of this stuff and getting rid of more. So that's pretty much the plan. Go through this stuff, sell what I can, donate what's not worth selling. 
and just figure out my move halfway across the country. Well, I guess technically it's more like two thirds, but whatever, who's counting? Uh, I'm really excited to be starting this whole process again. I wasn't sure when it was gonna happen. It was supposed to happen in May and we all know how that went. So I'm also really excited that Lauren's gonna be joining me. Uh, we will be looking for a place. I'm really excited to share that one. We will be flying out there in about four weeks to go look at places out there. I'll be taking the camera and I'll be sharing that with you guys. I'm really, 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 really excited about this. It's been a long time coming. So I'm sorry to those of you that are having just a terrible year in 2020. I've had a really, really good year overall. There's been some kind of, well, there's been some real crappy stuff that's happened, but Overall, it's been a really good year for me. I'm really excited to finally be really focusing on what I wanna be doing with my life and building the life I want. I set these wheels in motion years ago and it feels like everything's really starting to pay off finally. I can't wait. So I'll be sharing this whole process with you. I'll be taking the camera with me to Colorado next month and be sharing that. And uh, coming up soon, I'll have more content coming out. I will be uh, taking clients here in the very near future. So if you're inter interested in that, feel free to email me and uh, that will be virtual online training. I also release some shirts. I have a Teespring account. The shirts are linked on YouTube and I also have a store. More to come on that. Lauren is an artist, so I'm gonna be working with her to bring out some super awesome shirts to share with everybody. In the meantime, if you wanna support me, like and share the video with your friends. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Check out Patreon. I'm gonna, be start, uh, I'm gonna start doing a lot more over there. Some, some bonus content, some more interaction and building a community there that everybody can interact with me. In the meantime, keep your life in motion. Thank you very much for joining me on this exciting Colorado Chronicle. And until next time, go live your dreams.